Now, let's take a look at a risk event now for the week starting Monday, the 16th of August. In fact, that was the day back in 1977 when we heard about the news of the death of Elvis Presley. Let's see if we can beat that now in terms of news for a risk event to watch out for next week. And we're joined for this now with Justin McQueen from Daily FX. Justin, good morning to you. Try and trump that. I think it's, what, 44 years since the death of Elvis Presley on Monday. What's your risk event? Good morning, Jeremy. And I think uh, given the current summer law, I might be a, a hard one to uh, trump. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'll give it a go. Um, in terms of uh, some of the uh, the major uh, sort of data points next week, of course, we have um, the UK uh, jobs report and also uh, the CPI uh, data as well. And that will pretty much be the main things uh, for the pound next week. Although it will be a bit hard to say whether we would actually uh, stoke much volatility in the pound, uh, particularly on the jobs front. The reason being is because uh, of course, we still have the furlough scheme uh, currently ongoing and that's set to expire at the end of September. And therefore, I think after um, the expiration of furlough, that'll be where the jobs data is uh, more closely watched. However, though, after the Bank of England uh, last week uh, provided its uh, sequence into how it would exit um, uh, its uh, very loose uh, monetary policy settings, and particularly on the balance sheet front, um, that is in quite a stark contrast to the ECB uh, who have yet to really signal any sort of um, suggestion that they would be looking to uh, have a path for exiting uh, very loose monetary policy conditions. And so the trade we're looking out for is Euro Sterling. Now, Euro Sterling, uh, last week we did break below uh, the 85 handle, quite significant uh, given that we had tested it on multiple occasions and subsequently with the break below, we're now testing that uh, support prior support now resistance and this is where it'll be interesting to watch for the close uh for, well for the weekly close and if we do close below it then we could be looking back down towards uh, the year to date lows and actually go lower um but again in terms of next week for the major major data points if we continue to see um lower unemployment rate and uh, we see a bit more of a pickup uh, in the inflation front while the boe uh, continue to acknowledge that uh, inflation will go higher after signaling that it could rise as much as about 4% this year. Um, again, they still stick to the transitory view like most central banks do. Um, so I don't expect that to have too much um, of implications for the pound, but maybe more so for the jobs front. And if we do see a continued improvement on the employment front, then that can keep uh, euro sterling lower. We also have two-year spreads uh, still in favour of the pound over the euro. But again, like I say on the chart, the, the level to really look out for is this 85 handle and how we um, sort of trade around this level. If we fail to really sort of push higher, uh, then we can look back towards the year to late lows. Keep in mind as well, this is much similar um, to the sort of setup that we did have at the uh, the back end of uh, March into April. Uh, markets very short on the break below uh, 85 and subsequently we did see a squeeze up to those sort of mid 87 levels. So again, this is something I would be keeping my eye very closely on. And as well, you, uh, it would be good to keep an eye on uh, equity markets as well, because if we continue to remain relatively stabilised and hovering around those record highs, then I suspect funding currencies like the euro will be the uh, the choice of currency that would be sold uh, in favour of some of those uh, more higher yielding and higher beta currencies like the pound and also quality currencies as well. So again, my bias is still remaining short on uh, the cross. But again, just keep an eye on this 85 handle. If we push higher and we close above it, then... Uh, there is uh, various resistance up from about 85.30 into 85.60. Those will be tough areas to really crack above. Um, my bias would change if we do break and close above uh, 85.60. But again, still remaining short on Euro Sterling. OK, thanks, Justin. Thanks so much indeed. Uh, Justin McQueen from Daily FX with a risk event uh, for the week starting Monday, the 16th of August. For more videos from us here at IGTV, join us on Twitter at IGCom, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel.